Bet Online is your number one source for all your summer sports this season from MLB, golf, NBA, and NHL playoff stats. All the latest stats, news, and scores are available to you to follow your favorite teams. So get the latest odds and lines, including the latest team matchups, player props, and odds of just about every sport out there. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to get in the action. Bet Online, where the game starts. Go ahead. All right, so now we're out of the Patreon emails. We're into the uh, general emails. Let's see. Right. And, it's, 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 and you patrons, you patrons, um, if these emails are better than yours, we may have to put you the Patreon emails on the back burner and, and read those last. Want to bomb them. That's just some hornet gallowag and something is swerved buried. Respectfully, in the past, when people have written into K100 talking about AEW is buried or devalued a talent that's recently debuted, Become any different champion or become any different champion. You guys have defended the booking, saying that it's too soon to judge. From my memory, names such as MJF. That's not some... defending. That's the truth. That right. sometimes you got to wait till it plays out to make a f- statement. Right, right. But in the over the corner, you you give them a chance, but their history has shown they had not good. Right. From my memory, names such as MJF, Samoa Joe, Brian Nielsen, Adam Copeland have all been devalued in the eyes of fans, and really, those critics have been proven right over time. With that in mind, what do you guys think of the current online opinion that Swerve Strickland has been buried in AEW? I mean, having your new champion get beat down by Nick Wayne on the following TV taping, that's garbage. I personally think that Swerve has been booked by shit since he's become champion, but what do you think? I'm not going to argue that. I think they dropped the ball with Swerve the first night. When he won the championship, and his appearance on the very next show was just a random match against Kyle Fletcher. No promo, no nothing. It's just... So it just shows, like, bro, Tony has no clue how to build stars. Okay, he's doing, he gets, you know, he gives a guy the win, the big win, but, like, you need to move up the car. And, like, every company has issues with this, with, 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 uh, with building stars. You have to sacrifice guys that you probably wouldn't want to sacrifice because you want to take a chance on, on the next guy. And, like, these companies are not willing to do that. So Swerve, Swerve, at the, the, bro, this has been very weak. Championship title reign so far. It's not his fault. He's just doing what he's told to do. But like you know, this is this is like I will now. I will say that out of the list that he threw in, and I don't remember all the names, but one did stick out. I would say Samoa Joe is the only yeah, guy right. that hasn't been devalued. No, he's been he, yeah. He's he he's never lost it down. Like right. they've taken care of him, but that right. sounds more like Samoa Joe taking care of himself. Yeah, right. <laughs> he said uh, Danielson. Um, oh, he's devalued. Bob Copeland. Copeland. Copeland devalued. Yeah. And who's uh, the other one? MJF. MJF was. Um, the MJF is still devalued. No, they're not devalued, but like other guys have been atrociously devalued. They've been Wardlow. Right. right. Um, everybody. Uh, just Lucha, about everybody. Lucha Forrest, Lance Archer, Brian Cage. Okada. O- Okada. I mean, <laughs> Takshida. <laughs> the um, the, 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 the Hangman Page. Hangman Page was. Last Bray's a. a in mid card angles, right. right now, he's supposed to be the next big. Card. <laughs> but he had a good match, so that's. I give Lee Moriarty. Yeah, <laughs> like when he's oh, and Conan, uh, just uh, from earlier, I got I do have Alvarez's number. I checked, and I, it's the right one. So, just send it to me. You need it, okay? Um, from but, but from the clip we looked at earlier, where he said, you know, it's been five years, and there's all these AW talents in the same positions. Like, yeah. who would you guys put on that list? Wardlow, Hook, have everybody. Well, show just me about show everybody. Show everybody me the guys. Has that- the- the better question well, is Tony, Tony Storm Tony Storm was elevated. She came in as the usual Tony Storm and she was changed into this new gimmick and that made her more more popular and valuable. There's one. That's um, one. Swerve Strickland. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Yeah, I know. that's it. I mean Swerve Strickland's been elevated, but now it's like, okay, you 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 be elevated from from mid card to top guy, but now like not top guy to superstar. He yeah, did elevate. He did elevate Darby Allen because nobody knew who he was. Right. He did elevate Orange Cassidy because Orange Cass nobody knew who he was. Right. So those 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 are three right there. Right. Um, he was smart enough to understand the MJF Express, and uh, but that to me was way more MJF than him. Right. But we'll give it to him. That's four. Jer- Jericho's been devalued. Moxley's right. been devalued. Um, Claudio has been Cole. devalued. Adam Cole has been devalued. Um, just and you know what? You know what the problem you know is? Who hasn't been here's, devalued? Christian. Here, no, yeah, you're right. Good point. But that's that's him. 
go into the business for himself on the mic and just just get to get the heat, right? You know, and bro, being smart, wearing the turtleneck, right. you know, so like just it, it just doesn't really do it, right? But um, but yeah, but bro, the problem is, is like you have all those guys that we talk about that they've been devalued. And you know why they've been devalued? It's because none of them have really, you know, been in a lot of combat against each other. When when you when they get to a certain spot, the next thing you do, you have them wrestling. You know, you got to wrestling against Pac. You got to wrestling against Roderick Strong. You know, they, they move up on the car. The next thing you know, they're wrestling Rocky Romero and they're wrestling Lee Moriarty. And it's just like, dude, we don't want to see the guys go backwards. We want to see them wrestle, you know, the Adam Coles. It's a, the, you know, you want to see the, the wrestle the top guys. They just, they just don't do that because they, they're scared of, of having one of these guys lose. I don't know. It's just really, you have all these guys. Think about all the all the names that we just talked about, right? Yeah, dude, you can literally like right now just give me those names. Put put these names in front of me here. I could give you three months of TV with with, with just these guys on the show doing <laughs> like every week doing episodic television, and bro, your numbers will probably increase it by a hundred to two hundred thousand people because you're you know because that's one thing that AEW is proven is when there is a big match. They they draw more people than they, they regularly do, but Tony doesn't even know what a big match is because he didn't even know what a main event is. Yeah, but it's something that the, the, the main event's like the second or third match of the show sometimes. You know, for, for, with, with no build up or nothing, just it's out there. So MikeDurbin.com. You can get the WCW esque Conan in that K Dog Wolfpack style. Man, this Conan might be Bendy of the year right now. I really told great. you. Yo yo yo. Let me speak on this. Mike Durbin Productions exclusive. Conan, I was the most impressed with Conan, man. It's like undercover Bendy of the Year. It's a really nice figure. The, the do-rag is freaking awesome in person. I love the exclusive with the WCW packaging. I love this one with the camo. It's really nice. And I will say a figurine expert who went to TJ on Friday, uh, Matt Cardona put it over as being a good figurine as far as figurines go. Yo, 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 hold on, let me speak on this. Exclusive Mike Durbin Productions, k Dog. Look at that, listen to k Dog, keeping it 100, logo on the back, MikeDurbin.com. Get it right now. Low key, might be Bendy of the Year. Go get it. What's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.